The history of Puerto Rico goes back hundreds of years when old history comes to talk of ghost stories, orbs, and a long list of eerie legends. Want to creep through tunnels and test your chances of seeing something spooky along the way? These places are sure to get the hairs on your neck standing up straight and are located right near your Puerto Rico resort. But beware, you're in for a scare. Castillo San Cristobal, a historic fort built in the 1780s in San Juan, is the largest fort built by the Spaniards and the main setting of one of Puerto Rico's most well-known love tales. In the Book of Legends and Puerto Rico Traditions written by historian Cayetano Cole and Toste tells the story of secret love, the legend states that a young woman named Maria Dolores, whose father was the city's executor, fell in love with a young wandering thief named Betacot. I think you can tell where the love story is heading. Unfortunately for Maria, Bentacor was caught stealing and was executed by Maria's father. Bentacor was left hanging in the gallows, but Maria later found him devastated by the sight of her deceased loved one. She decided to hang herself next to him. Later that day, Maria's father came to dispose of Bentacor's body and found his beloved daughter with him. It is said that Maria Dolores and Bentacourt can be seen from time to time wandering around the area where they both met their final resting place. Teatro Tapia is the oldest freestanding drama stage building that is still used within U.S. territory. It has since been the center for cultural life in the city, still holding plays, shows, and concerts. With the vast number of visitors on a weekly basis, there have been numerous reportings of haunted happenings here. Visitors are said to have seen apparitions, Employees have heard unknown footsteps and voices around the theater. Some have also said to have seen enormous loading dock doors eerily open and close. History states there was once a woman who fell to her death while performing at Teatro Tapia, and allegedly, she is seen to be wandering there, and sounds of people singing on stage can be heard from time to time, yet, no one is ever there. Do you have goosebumps yet? El Moro is one of the oldest and most haunted spots in Puerto Rico. Built in the 1500s, El Moro is a series of forts overlooking the San Juan Bay. This area is notorious for sightings of the spirit of a woman that chillingly glides along the ramparts, dressed in all white. Moans of fallen soldiers can be heard, and the ghosts of old prisoners have been seen hovering along the grounds of El Moro. These frequented grounds are a playground for the departed. As you can tell, Puerto Rico has a very interesting and rich past filled with urban legends, shadow people, and tall tales of ghost stories. By visiting our La Concha Resort, you will not only be able to soak in the hot Caribbean sun, but when the sun goes down, you can experience the supernatural sights of old San Juan. That's only if you believe, of course. Puerto Rico forms part of the Bermuda's Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, where a number of aircraft and ships disappeared by unknown reasons. Puerto Rico also has a lot of history of the chupacabras as well as UFOs and paranormal activity. One of the most beautiful places of the island is the Central Mountain Range, in particularly El Yunque tropical rainforest with one of the most diverse biological species. A beautiful place by day and more beautiful by night. The stories about aliens, chupacabras, ghosts, etc. surrounds El Yunque 
But what is pure nature, and act of God is all the beauty of this topical forest, their flowers, the birds, the animals, the water river and cascades, it is really a supernatural experience. You can start at El Portal Rain Forest Center. Spend some time there learning about El Young. See the introductory video narrated by Benicio del Toro. Talk to the gentle and amicable guardians and guides of El Young. Then drive to La Coca Falls to get a nice natural shower on this cascade. Visit La Mina Falls and relax for a while. To get an initial view of the coast, climb to Yokohu Tower. And if you are really an adventurer, and are in good shape then get to the hiking trail to MT Britain Tower to see Mother Nature in action, since it rains almost every day, when there is no other place raining, and continue climbing to El Yunk a small fortress type edification at the top of the mountain where the communications towers that connect the island are. If you get there by the afternoon you may get dark and possible along with your group, but you will have the opportunity to hear the Kokis singing as well as the water running from the Cascades in one of the most fabulous concerts that you can hear. El Chupacabra A creature that terrorizes Puerto Rico, South America, and even parts of the U.S., its name means goat sucker, because it sucks the blood out of goats and other small animals and just leaves a carcass with two small puncture holes. Some say it is green and some say gray. Some say it has wings while others are convinced it is an alien that landed in Puerto Rico. The Devil's Sentry Box There are different stories that circulate about why soldiers kept disappearing from this guard post on a piece of land that juts out from the coast and is connected to Castillo San Cristobal. These legends include being taken away by evil spirits or being washed away by large waves, but Manuel Fernandez Juncos shares a different and much more believable story one which it seems was told to him by the very soldier who disappeared. After hearing the other tales from the locals, an older man came up to him and shared his story. He was a soldier at San Cristobal and pulled guard duty in the sentry box of the sea many times. It was an awful job, cold and wet and dark, and the shift seemed to be endless. One evening, against the rules, the soldier took a cigar with him to help him pass the time. A wave came up and soaked his tinderbox, so he could not light it. Frustrated, he saw a light in the distance and again breaking regulations, left his post and went in search of a light for his smoke. When he got there, the family was having a celebration. There was music and dancing and girls, especially one dark-skinned beauty with fiery eyes. When he could finally pull himself away from the place, it was raining so hard he would never make it back to his post so he decided to wait a little longer. He met the beautiful woman and began dancing with her and lost track of time, so when he heard the bells of the fort announcing the changing of the guard, he was mortified and took off without saying a word. But he was not fast enough, and the new guards came on before he could return. Abandoning your post is punishable by death, so the soldier ran away, stole a boat, and started a new life elsewhere.